guys, ZX Pommy XZ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing FIFA 18 player rating predictions for individual teams. The first team we're doing for our predictions, because I'm going to turn it into, like, I guess you could call it a series. First team we're doing is Tottenham Hotspur. So I am doing most of the players for the team. I'm not doing silvers or bronzes unless they've been pretty good during the season. I have missed out on a couple players like Wimmer, Dyer, and Wanyama. I think they're the three main players I've missed out on. But pretty much everyone else I have done. Comment below what you think I've done wrong or the things I've done definitely right. And just comment below your predictions maybe for some of the players. Next video we are going to be doing Atletico Madrid for our predictions. Not sure when I'm going to make that, but I'll start working on it today. And then I'm going going to just get you guys to choose. The reason why I've done these teams is because I don't think Tottenham's going to make many signings. So that's the thing. Like I don't want to do Man City. Let's say I did them last week and they've signed Edison and Silva already. So that means I've missed out on two critical players probably next season unless Joe Hart's in the starting eleven, which I don't think he will be. Because they've got rid of Caballero. They did. They released him, Sanya and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get into the video. First player is Vorm. So, I am giving him... Well, this FIFA has an 80 rated card. I'm giving him a downgrade of 2 overall ratings to FIFA 18. Minus 2 diving. I'm taking 3 reflexes, 3 handling, 1 speed, 1 kicking, and 3 positioning. So, that is Caballero's card. Next is Hugo Lloris. He has been great this season. I'm pretty sure he got a team this season in the end, or was it just... I don't know, I'm pretty sure he did in the end, because it was De Gea, Courtois, and yeah, Lloris, I'm pretty sure. I think. But anyway, he had a really good season. I'm giving him a... Boosting him one with one diving, three reflexes, one handling, two... Three speed, sorry. Two kicking, and three positioning. Next player is I'm going to start doing the right backs now so Trippier is the next player I'm giving him a but boost two with one pace one dribbling one shooting free defending um free passing and that's it he could be a gold rare but personally I think he'll stay at normal gold but possibly to a round possibly right wing back doubt it but he did have an informed right wing back this FIFA Next card is Carl Walker. I'm giving him a boost one. Could be two. But I'm giving him one more shooting, one more defending, one more passing, and one more physical. So, not a big upgrade. He did have a January upgrade this FIFA. So, yeah. Now I'm going to do left backs. Danny Rose. Everyone I know thinks he's going to go like 83 rated or 82. But I'm leaving him on the same. I think he could probably go to an 82 though, but I just gave him a bit of an upgrade in stats, not overall. So I gave him plus two shooting, plus two passing, and that's it. But he probably will get a way bigger upgrade than that. Now, centre-backs. Jan Vertonghen, I'm giving him a plus one. He did get a team this season most consistent this FIFA. I'm giving him plus one pace, plus one defending, Plus, plus one passing and plus two physical. So not bad for him. Out of the wild, he's probably going to go to an 86 and be one of the highest rated defenders in the game. But again, I'm leaving him on 85. I'm giving him plus one pace, plus one defending, plus two passing, and that's it. Next player is Hyung Min Son. I'm giving him a plus three, which I definitely think he deserves. He's the only player to have two player of the months this year. I'm giving him a plus two pace, plus three dribbling, plus one shooting, plus two passing, and plus one physical. Now on to right mids. First one is going to be a downgrade now, Lamella. Because he hasn't played that much, well he hasn't played really that much this season. So I'm giving him one downgrade, but he could go to a 79 and who knows, maybe go to a non-rare, possibly. But I think he'll stay a rare and go to 80. But if he has another bad season, I think he'll get a big... Well, if he doesn't play much again, which I don't think he will, I think he'll have a big downgrade for FIFA 19, 
or possibly, I don't know, seek a new club. Anyway, I'm giving him one less dribbling, two less shooting, and that is it. Now, Musa Sissoko, I think that's his first name. I don't even know these days, so just don't quote me on anything. I'm giving him a downgrade again to 79. I think he was going to be a big signing, but he just... He hasn't done the grade. He hasn't played, really, again, either. But he was expected to be a big player because he, he did quite well with Newcastle and obviously he's quite good for France. But anyway, I'm giving him plus... I mean, taking him... Getting rid of one pace, getting rid of two shooting, and getting rid of one physical. So that's it, but... Yeah, not a big change. Deli Alley next, I'm giving him a plus two with free pace, two dribbling, free shooting, one defending, and free passing, and two physical. Next is Ericsson, I'm keeping him on the same rating, but he could go to an 86, possibly. He's had a good season, he had like 15 assists, 8 goals, something like that. But anyway, I'm giving him plus one pace, plus free shooting, plus one, no, getting rid of one defending, sorry. And then two passing and free physical. Now, Dembele, I was so close to leaving him out of it, but I, you needed to, I needed to put him in the video. So, I'm giving him... Same rating, but I'm giving him taking away two dribbling, adding shooting, adding one defending, and losing a physical. So that's it. It's a bit of a downgrade, I guess you could say, but his shooting went up and some other stats, but that's not too bad. Now, the last, second to last player today is Janssen. He's 78 rated. Again, he did play a couple games, but I think he struggled to score. From what I saw, I don't really know. I watched him play a couple games. But I did watch Tottenham quite a bit this season. Tottenham, obviously Man United, because I support Man United. But I'm giving him getting rid of one dribbling, two shooting, um, and two physical. I definitely think he could get a downgrade, but I think they'll leave him the same this FIFA. And then maybe if he has another season like this, go down. Like Lamella and maybe Dembele. Now, last player for today is... Harry Kane, top scorer of the league. Like he scored five goals in one game near the end of the season, like a hat trick. He he came back and did so well from injury and just stole it right from Lukaku, top scorer. So I'm giving him plus one with one pace. I'm giving him free shooting. Um and that oh one physical, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um that is pretty much it. So Atletico Madrid is going to be next. I'm not sure when. I hope you enjoyed the video and get ready for next video. Goodbye.